space the final frontier this is the voyage not of a massive starship helmed by an impressive crew but the voyage of all men their mission to seek out new life for their civilization and boldly mold the future of their world okay that's enough What's up, YouTube? It's the real Super Mario. Uh, the reason for all this space opera theatrics was, uh, well, the new Civilization game. This is episode two of my Road to E3 series, and I will be covering Civilization Beyond Earth. Uh, there are few, there are few games, few franchises that have transcended time quite like Civilization without having to change the base formula of what the game actually is and what you actually do in the game. Uh, I mean, they've added on to it, they've changed a little bit, and they've changed the wrapper, they've upgraded the graphics, they've done everything they've could to the game, and the game is still successful, but being, even though at the core, it's the same game. Um, you know, and not many franchises can do that. You know, there's, few, there's very few that I know of. Two of which I'll be covering in these this set of videos. Um, but Civilization Beyond Earth is a new take on the Civilization franchise. Um, I call it, I'm, I'm calling it Civilization 5.5. Because, you know, this is really like a, 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 a spot between Civilization 5 and Civilization 6. Um, and it's also a nod to the old Alpha Centauri game from back in the day. Um... But Civilization uh, Beyond Earth takes a brand new spin on the series while still keeping the same formula. You know, so basically what you do is you go on, uh, you, you have to leave Earth and go to another planet, randomly selected planet, and you settle. And you have one of three objectives. You know, either you want to win the game by domination, which is probably what I'm going to do first because that seems more fun where you basically land down on the planet and you want to bend the planet to your will so that you can you know use the resources and things that you take from the planet to go back to earth and take over and fix everything or you can go by uh... i think it's harmony uh... harmony is um... You know, harmony is when you and the planet live in harmony with each other and you try to become one with the planet and become a natural species, a natural people, because the planets in this game are sentient. So you want to become one with the sentientness of the planet, which is an interesting concept, you know. I mean, and essentially, if you want to compare it to civilization, the civilization franchise, I guess you can call it culture I guess harmony would be like a culture game you know um, and then there is purity purity is um, where you, you don't exactly wanna you wanna use the resources on the planet to better yourself but not to like destroy like in you know the domination game you know and you don't wanna become one with it like in the harmony game but you just want to live your life anew somewhere else outside of Earth. And uh, which is awesome. You know, that that would be more like, I'll say, maybe science or diplomacy when you compare it to civilization. But all in all, it seems awesome. And uh, I haven't seen any video. No one really has. Um, but there's screenshots out there. I'm not going to put in this video. Um... But yeah, Civilization Beyond Earth is going to be awesome. Uh, I've been a fan of the Civilization franchise since the first one on SNES. And Civilization V has claimed about a thousand hours of my life since it came out all those years ago. So, Civilization is a huge franchise for me. Um, but back to, back to Beyond Earth. 
uh, in Beyond Earth, you know, you, you've got, um, then you have advanced technology, you know, because you're not starting off, like, in the Stone Age, like you would in Civilization, but you're starting off in the, um, you know, you're starting off, you're already in the Space Age, you know, the whole thing about the game that makes it, you know, primal, like, the beginning of an original Civilization game is the fact that you're kind of alone, you know, I mean, there are other people settled on the planet that you'll meet later, but, you know, for that, for that first part of the game, you're alone, you know, and there are aliens on the planet, and, um, unlike the, unlike the, um, the barbarians from the old Civ games, the aliens, they're not always hostile, you know, I mean, they can be, depending on how other civ, uh, other civs treat them, you know, so if another civilization attacks the aliens, you know, and they get, they start a war with the aliens, you know, the aliens will begin to think that all humans are a threat, even the ones that didn't attack them, and so that's when they start attacking you, you know, um, and, uh, from, from what I read, there are many different types of aliens, probably the craziest one I've seen is the giant, like, earthworm, it's like a minor worm, or something they call it, and it, like, digs through the planet, and digs under your defenses, and comes right at your city, that's gonna be annoying, <sighs> but it, it's gonna be fun, though, I, I can't wait, uh, it comes out fall of this year, you know, I hope that I'll be able to get it, so I can, I'm, if, if I get it, I'm definitely gonna do a, a Let's Play on the channel, um, you know, there are other features in the game, like, uh, terraforming, because this is the goal, this is, you know, this is the space age, so you should be able to terraform, um, you know, there's, um, in the game, you know, what you do is you start off as one of a bunch of different civilizations, that each one of them has a characteristic of how they want to win the game, and you start off as one of them, and you pick an explorer or a settler who will go off to the planet who has his own you know who has his own uh, set of abilities that would cater to how you want to win the game or how you want to progress in the game you know they also revamped the tech tree you know the tech tree is completely revamped now so it's not a tech tree it's more of a tech web similar to say like Final Fantasy X which was confusing at first, but once you got it, it all synced together perfectly. So, this game is looking to be amazing, and I can't wait to hear more about it at E3. Hopefully, it'll be at, uh, well, it probably won't be at a major press conference. Well, actually, no, it'll probably be at the EA conference on Monday. So, um, yeah, so I can't wait to hear some more about this. It better be there. Um... You know, this is going to be, it's going to be an awesome game. You know, and it's going to probably steal hundreds of hours of my life, <laughs> like its predecessor. You know, and it'll probably be a pretty good setup for Civilization VI, which I hope will have some, side of, some kind of dynamic like this in the after game, where you can leave the planet and go somewhere else too, and be a much bigger experience. But I'll leave that for another video. So, Beyond Earth. The second step, I mean, the second stop in the road to E3 2014. What's next? Who knows? You know, we could be going on an adventure with, you know, an adventure partnered with creatures that we capture. You never know. So, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. You know, comment, leave your uh, feedback. I like, I want your feedback. Subscribe, because that'll help me out. And as always, as always, keep it real with the real Super Mario. <laughs>